Hello, I am Charlotte Weatherly. I'm the Growing Giving Policy and Partnerships Manager here at the Chartered Institute of Fundraising. And over the next two minutes, I'm going to tell you why it's time that everyone, that's charities, government, and any sector stakeholder, needs to start making growing giving a big priority. Let's start with some stats. So these are taken from CAF's UK Giving Report. If you haven't read it, I suggest you do so right after watching this. As you can see, income is remaining stable, and there were two spikes in giving. The first was in 2020, when it reached 11.3 billion, and in 2022, when the amount reached 12.7 billion. So these are likely in response to the COVID-19 pandemic and the war in Ukraine. So to some extent, this is really good news. We know it shows that the British public are incredibly generous. But we have to remember that these figures aren't adjusted for, to inflation, meaning that there is still a risk to charity spending power. Now, when you look at this next trend, we start to really see the red flags. As you can see, the proportion of people giving to charity is steadily decreasing. It was 65% in 2019, then 62% in 2020, and 57% in 2021. It did then increase last year in 2022 for, to 59%. Um, but it still hasn't returned to pre-pandemic levels. And the latest edition of the report does highlight that fewer people made donations in the majority of months in 2022 than their equivalent in 2019. So this really does show that there is very likely a kind of perennial issue that we need to address. And that brings us nicely on to what we want to do at the Chartered Institute. So through our work in growing giving, we are going to our members and the wider sector with a very simple question how do we reverse the long-term decline in the number of people giving to charity? I mean, I say it's simple, but as you will see, there are a lot of complex answers and ideas that we want to explore. So at the very, very beginning of this work right now, but initial consultation with members found that there were four themes that we'll be focusing on. The first is creating a positive social narrative around giving. So do people see giving as an important part of social action that allows them to make a difference? If not, why not? Secondly, making giving more fulfilling. How do we make sure that people who are giving to charity aren't just having a positive experience, but that they feel that they are making a real long-term difference to society and that making a donation to charity is something truly unique. Thirdly, making it easier to give. So this could look at many areas, but at the heart of it is ensuring that giving is accessible. And fourthly, making it easier for charities to reach supporters. How do we break down the barriers holding fundraisers back from reaching the right supporters with the right ask. So, I mean, we're at the very beginning of a very So with that in mind, please do get involved and get in touch. We want to make sure that every member has a voice on this so that together we can really reshape the giving landscape and make sure that charities across England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland can thrive. So if you do want your ideas heard, you can email me on charlottew at cioof.org.uk if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one call, or if you want to hear from some of your peers, you can take part in a research roundtable. You can find the next dates for that in the next newsletter. And finally, you can respond to the survey on our Growing Giving Hub. So really, really simple. Go to the first page of our website. Right there, it says our work on Growing Giving. Click that, and at the top of the page, you can respond to the survey. Thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to working with you all over the next few months.